Da Pika. Da Pika. Da Pika. Da Pika. We just saw a girl named Da Pika. Da Pika. Da Pika. Da Pika. Here she comes. <laughs> Back to our Super Directions feed, it's Corbin, Rick, and you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, and Twitter for more juicy content. content so juicy yeah, that no, sometimes drip, I drink drip, it in the morning drip, for drip, breakfast. Drip, 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 drip. And today, <laughs> they were so sorry, make sure to follow Trisha's Twitter account. We're caffeinated. Yeah. Um, the new trailer that I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Long time. Since sorry, we saw the poster. Sorry we're a little late. Yeah, well, uh, that's why we're refreshed and ready to go. We yes. Slept. Yes. It well, dropped, we also, I think it dropped at like 1 a.m. Yeah, it did. And we didn't know the time because you guys know there's been trailers that have dropped 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and we're on them because we knew that's when they were going to drop. Yeah, we we did. didn't have a heads up for this. Yeah. In fact, you messaged me last night and said, if this thing drops, I'll let you know. But we fell asleep. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. I was tired. I have a child. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dad now, y'all. Uh, but it's called Chuck Pock. <laughs> Chup- you actually get that, not because of the pronunciation. Chup- the... Uh, the uh, accent on yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. This is called Chupa! It's the one about the uh, acid victim that Dupik yes. is playing that uh, I've been looking forward to because one, I love Dupik as an actress. Two, Agreed. it's a very important story. And very that important needs story. needs to be told. Yeah. Uh, especially right now uh, with all the stuff that's going on. And Correct. The ridiculous epidemic that uh, needs to stop. It's insane to me that this epidemic is so bad that there are actually nonprofit organizations whose entire like focus, yeah. yeah, like SRK's, entire focus is helping women who are the victims of this, this evil. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Lots of evil in the world, but I'm hoping this is going to be ridiculously good and, and hard to watch. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's, be. a, it's that type of story that should be hard to watch if yep. it's done correctly. Yep, um, and it should be uh, it should confront you and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Let's go. I'm excited. Yeah, um, because it's horrific. Yeah, uh, it's it's one of those things that you, you're watching. And you're like, how in the fucking world do well, can people do that to I know. another person? I know because they want to study. Like, what the? Fuck? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, uh, there's a there's a lot like that in the world that I don't understand, including in my own country. Yeah, they won't but just do they won't just do that. They'll they'll walk onto a bus and they'll shoot a girl in the head mm-hmm. for wanting to educate herself. Uh, and and it's just it's just it's just as incongruent to me with a human being in terms of the fact that there's actually male species. I won't call them men. Mm-hmm. We've talked about this before. Who will become sexually aroused at the thought of hurting and raping a woman? Yeah. Uh, cannot comprehend that level of evil. I can't comprehend this. I, I saw it looked like, and I hope this is the case, it looked like they actually use some actual girls and, and women who are victims of the acid burn mm-hmm. as part of the storytelling in the cast, which I really hope is the case. Yeah. And um, I love, I'm going to get emotional because this is uh, having daughters, but also loving women and not understanding. Um, my hope is that there are a lot of girls and women who've seen this who will love the fact that a woman who is one of the most beautiful women in cinema is wanting to empathize and portray them. Mm -hmm. Um, There'd be some people who would say, well, you should have cast an actual burn victim and you and I would probably say, uh, she's an actor, let her do her thing. Uh, that, That to me, I love the fact that a woman that is known for her beauty is diving into a role because um, and she looks, the, the makeup looks great. Yeah, and I like that they've made it, it, it staggered, like at the beginning stages of an acid burn, and yeah. then it kind of develops Deve- as, you, as you go on. Right. And I thought uh, that, that looks really good so far to me. Yeah. Uh, and you know, Dapika's gonna bring it emotionally. Yeah. Because it's gonna be a very emotional story. Yeah, my prediction, my prediction is this is going to catapult her to another level for people who haven't yet recognized her abilities. Morons, as, a, as, as they're called. Yes, as, <laughs> as, as an actor. Yeah. Um, I wish this would, I know it'll get released in the United States, but it's not gonna be huge in the United States, no. uh, sadly. But this is a story that it could do really, really well if like, you know, United States just paid attention to Indian cinema yep. and distributed it and uh, marketed it like yeah. it should have been. Because well, this would do really, really well because it's, I'm guessing, one, about an, a, a terrible, terrible thing that happens to millions of women. I don't know if it's millions, thousands at, at, at yeah, minimum. At minimum, too um, many. Uh, but the, uh, and then it's also going to be about women empowerment. Her learning to also love herself. Correct. In spite of the in spite evil of, that happened to her. In spite of the evil that happened to her. And also to know that the true measure of a person's beauty isn't defined by their outward appearance. Yeah. That the true measure of a woman's beauty is defined by who she is inside. Yeah. And and uh, the, the I would love. To, here's the challenge here in America, guys. One of the reasons there's there's a couple of reasons among what you just stated as to why American audiences don't see Indian film. The first one is Americans are so ego self centric that they don't pay attention to what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah. The second one is that. There aren't enough theaters, I think, around the United States that play Indian content. We get it here in Los Angeles because this is the cinema capital of the U.S. So you would get Indian films in a couple of theaters here. You're not going to get theaters to play on a big screen in San Antonio, Texas, in Omaha, Nebraska, in Des Moines, Iowa. It's not going to happen. And But in a city like here where there's such a huge population of Indians... I'm shocked that when we've gone to see movies on opening day, big things, whether you like this movie or not, but like a movie like War with a box office sensation like Rithik, nobody's there. Yeah. <laughs> where where are all the Indians here in Los Angeles supporting Indian film? Yeah. Sad, yeah, but also they don't promote it as well. And then also Americans don't like watching subtitles. Uh, so yeah, there's, but th- there's a whole that way. I get. For me, I would love to see something happen in the community here in Los Angeles. Because yeah. there's, there's millions of Indians here. Yeah. And there's only a few screens that play Indian film. The, the, we've said this before. We're looking forward to the day we go to see a movie out where we see it at the two theaters. And we actually... now. Gully Boys opening weekend went back a second time. There was a good contingency that was in the theater, but it should be full. Yeah. 
It should be, f especially something like this. This is the director. She's a female, so I'm glad she's a female. Uh, I, I Tell like a woman's that. story. Uh, Me too. It, obviously, we know India's been on that train for much longer than... Way ahead of us. <laughs> the United States has been. But having females tell female stories, it's not necessity, but it's also, it's usually nice. Especially something that's central female like this. Yeah. You capture, you, as a male, sometimes you just, you can't capture... Agree. The emotion of a female, if you don't, if you don't know. Agree. Uh, and so that's it's nice. Uh, but she also directed Rosie, which we, which was we, a great we, film. Love film. And uh, this other one, that, again, a movie from a woman's perspective. Yes. Uh, and uh, Talvar. Yeah, uh, one we haven't seen, but we hear good things about. It's the uh, the writers for Shaw. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it's uh, Irfan Khan, and uh, I believe no, unless I'm wrong, I might be wrong. You were okay. gonna say Nawaz? Yeah, I thought I thought Nawaz, but it's not. Okay, but yeah, the um, we we've seen the trailer for that one. But let's read the synopsis real quick. Yeah, this is the the trials and triumphs of uh, Malti. Is that her? Is that her name? Right, Malti. M A L T I. Don't ask me how to pronounce it. All right, no, I think it's Malti, an acid attack survivor. From the investigation of the attack to the court proceedings, the medical treatment to the emotional healing, Chapak is the story of the unquashable human spirit. Yeah. Um, yeah, can't wait. That's going to be, how does it say the length of it yet? No. No. January 10th, we will be there. To we watch will be there opening day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is going to be awesome. Topeka, my prediction is, at least in World Awards, Indian Awards, you're going to win a lot of them. Yeah. I, can, I can just already I tell. I feel it's, it. It's going, to be, it's, it's going to be one of those things. Let us know what you got. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let us know what you thought right down in the comment section below. <laughs> I think he just had some kind of aneurysm. <laughs>